Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this non pom pom reversible blanket with this geometric design. It's similar to the other ones that we made, but this one doesn't have any pom poms. I got asked how to make it without the pom poms, but what I'm going to stress is these are for decoration only. These blankets are for decorating the cover that comes with the baby pram. When you buy a baby pram, you get a plastic cover that matches the pram body and this is to decorate the top of those covers. They're not for wrapping your baby up in and they're not for leaving your baby unattended on this type of blanket. Now this is this side, but what I will also stress is please tie in double your first two rows. Tie it all in twice to hold these strands in. You don't want to be able to pull these strands out. Now I'm pulling that really tight and it's not moving. Now that is because I've tied it twice around here and in this one. On each section I've tied it in a cross here to here and here to here. I've done it twice for each one. I didn't do that. I only tied the middle in the ones but along the edges I always tie it twice to keep these strands in and so you can pull them out. Now if you can pull these out you're not tying it tight enough. I can't stress enough tie it tight especially around the edges so that your real strands cannot pull out. Now I'm pulling that really really hard and it's hardly moving at all. You don't want those strands to come out. Now let's get on with the video. Back to my channel. Now I posted a few geometric blankets made with a geometric pattern in black and white with pom poms and someone asked could I quickly show how to do it without the pom poms. It's really really easy. Now I'm going to do it with this blue and I've got some white wool as well. Now this is double knitting and I've got four balls. So I've got four balls of wool and it's double knitting. So I've got my four strands here, four strands of wool and I'm going to tie down to the corner. So I've got my four strands of wool tied down on this nail. What you're going to do is you're going to make a nail and wind up one, go along, make a nail, come down, make a nail, go up, make a nail, come along, all the way along. It doesn't matter how big your loom is, because you've got odd and even nails, you will always get you'll always get a small section at the bottom. So don't worry about that. It's still part of the design and it's not too noticeable. So we're just going to do we're going to go up and down and fill in the gaps. Now I'm assuming if you're watching this You've made blankets before and you'll know what I mean by filling in the gaps. We're just going to fill around the nails that we didn't get already. So I'm going to do another two rounds because this part is going to be three rounds. Because, because there's no pom-poms on this one, you still need to make it thick enough to be a proper little blanket. Now please remember, like I always tell you, these blankets are for decoration only. They're not for wrapping a baby in. They're for covering the plastic cover that comes with a baby pram. It's just to make the top of the baby pram all pretty when you're out and about with your pram. So one more round. Got my three rounds on.
Now what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to tie this off in the corner. I'm not going to cut it because we're going to need it again. So I've got my four strands of white, that's four 100 gram balls of wool. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to do some diagonals and we're going to make sure that we go across these sections diagonally. We're going this way and then we're going to do three rounds that way. So I'm going to tie my wool on down in this corner. So what we're going to do is, you're going to have to find the nail that goes diagonally like that. So on my board, so on my board it's the one, two, three, the fourth nail along. And then we're going to go across to the fourth nail up, one, two, three, four. Then all we're going to do is miss a nail and come down, miss a nail, wrap around that one, miss that one, and wrap around that one, all the way up, miss a nail, and come down, miss a nail, and go around, that one, So when you get to this top corner, what you're going to do is you're going to go right around the corner back to where it goes that way and you're going to wind your way back. You're going to follow your wool all the way back. Just like we did on the other tutorials. And that will fill in the gaps that you have between the nails. Just make sure that your wool is crossing over these blue sections. Don't worry about this one because we'll get a diagonal, we'll go that way. And we tie it down in this corner, or you can just run your wool along to this corner here. I just run it along, it saves a little trouble. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go up four nails again, one, two, three, four, up to that fourth nail and come down to this fourth nail, one, two, three, four, and that will take you over that cross section again and it's going to give you your white cross in the middle. So miss a nail, go up and around, miss a nail, go up and around, miss this nail, go around this nail. And up this way, and then miss the nail and come round, miss this nail and come round. Okay, so what I've done now is, I've tied my white wool on from my diagonal, I've got my three rounds of this large square on the bottom, I've got my three rounds of diagonals going this way, and three rounds of my larger diagonals going that way. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my blue again, I've got my blue, and I'm going to put a normal base. So, what we've got here is going to make this pattern. It's going to give you your large, it's going to give you your square with your diagonal flower in it. And what I'm going to put on now is, I'm going to put this base on, so it becomes a reversible blanket like that and you've got that little pattern in there and then you've got that one on that side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a base on. So our base is just done in the normal manner. Now I am assuming again that you've done a blanket before. If you don't know how to do the base, either just watch this part or go and look at my other tutorials. Now the base is just going up and down each nail 
And again, we're going to do three rounds. So that's one round done. Just push your wool down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do another four rounds and I'll come back and show you quickly how to tie it up. Okay, so I've got my three rounds done of the base. Now, a base is normally five rounds, but for this little blanket, I've just done three. We want to keep it light as well. So this is what this side looks like. And I'm going to flip it over and show you this side. So this is what this side looks like. But because we're not cutting any pom-pom, I'm going to shuttle tie it from this side. So I'm going to do it in the blue. So it will blend in and you won't see where I've tied it. I'm going to tie through this section and down to this section and then from this section down to this section. So I'll have a little cross on the other side of the blanket. I don't want my diagonal or any of my other strands coming out of this blanket. This is what the front looks like and this is the pattern on the back. So all you have to do now is cut it off the frame. And you just cut it off the same way you do all the other blankets. We're just going to cut down the middle of, we're just going to cut in between all the nails. Just like we did with the other blankets. Now you will get some little odd bits that are coming off. That's because we went around the edges when we did the diagonals. And it will cut off like this. So these parts will be your fringes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the whole blanket off the frame and I'll be back in a few minutes. Blanket all cut off the frame. This is this side where you get this really nice crisscross and you've got your blue squares and this side where you have the little crisscross pattern in there with the small squares it makes it totally reversible so you can either have it this way where there's a lot more blue showing or you can turn it and have it this way so it's completely reversible and it's a nice a nice weight as well. It's not too heavy at all in the slightest. So if you want to make this bigger on a bigger loom, you can. So it just shows you that messing around with your loom and making up your own geometric patterns, you can come up with loads and loads of different combinations. So give this a little try. I really like this because I think it's really, really pretty. Um, it stands out even in the blue and white just as much as it did with the black and the white. And this is this side. Now, please remember this is the same blanket as the other geometric ones, as the one with the Celtic cross in. It's just it doesn't have any pom-poms on it, where the other one has pom-poms. So you can still make these geometric designs and you can either do them with or without the pom-poms. So all it leaves me to say is thank you for watching. Please subscribe. It does give my channel great moral support and a big thank you to all the people who take a few extra minutes to subscribe to my channel. So until the next tutorial, it just leaves me to say happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.